Hi, so on today's episode of Mrs. McLean Makes, I'm going to show you how to turn some old furniture into something really beautiful and new. So, if you have an old piece of furniture like this beauty here at home and you want to restore it, you don't want to throw it away, then what I'm going to show you how to do is create a shabby chic effect on your furniture using chalk paint. First thing you want to do is take out the drawers. Um, so you have space to give it a really good clean. This piece of furniture has been stuck in a shed for about 50 years, so it's got quite a lot of cobwebs and spider things. So I'm gonna make sure that I clean it all out really, really well. So I'm just gonna use a normal dustpan brush and a little sponge just to brush off any of the dirt, any excess things. Mine's really horrible and covered in spiders, which I hate. So I'm gonna make sure that all those spider webs are gone. Everything is out of there and so it's got a good surface to paint onto. Once you've cleaned your furniture, give it a sand down with some sandpaper over the, any rough edges, over the corners. You don't need to worry about taking all the varnish off because the great thing about chalk paint is that it goes over varnish and it looks really, really good. So you don't need to worry about taking all the varnish off. Once you've sanded it down, just give it another brush over to get rid of any leftover dust. Ready? Yes, dear. Good. Now let's dust. I don't like dust. <laughs> okay, take your chalk paint and give it a good stir with the brush. Give it a good coating on your paintbrush. And then you're gonna start painting. Start putting on your first coat. Once we've done the gray coat, I'm gonna paint over a white coat. So we get a two-tone effect look. Once it's dry, we're gonna add another layer. I'm gonna use a white color as my top layer coat, so that'll be the color that shows predominantly. Remember to do the same with your drawers. The next step is to paint your furniture with a further coat. I'm making mine a two-tone effect, so I'm painting white on top of gray. If you're using the same color, totally fine. Just add another coat of the same color to your furniture. Use nice long brush strokes to create as even a finish as possible. We're going to add on a second coat after this. Two coats of the white paint to this truss of drawers. I am leaving it with this effect where it does look a bit more shabby than perhaps you might want it. If you do want a more solid effect with the colour that you're putting on top, then please feel free to add another layer of paint until you get the desired effect. I've just left mine like this because that's how I want it for the space in our home. Once the paint is bone dry, you can do the fun part, which is creating the shabby chic effect. So you want some sandpaper. Ideally, you want quite a fine grain. If it's a really thick grain of sandpaper, then it pulls away the paint too much. It absolutely, actually chips into the wood. So a fine piece of sandpaper. And I would start off really very gently on the corner sides. So with Shabby Chic, what you tend to find is mainly the corners are sanded down to reveal the color underneath and any of the side patches as well. We can go into doing some of the front facing areas as well, but I would say that till last until you get an idea of how quickly the effect can start taking place. I'm gonna start on this corner. You wanna start with the sandpaper using it really, really gently. So you can start to see how the sandpaper sands off the color to reveal the color underneath. I'm sanding down particularly this one corner and then I'm sort of blending out the amount I'm sanding it as I go. Otherwise, you're gonna get really heavy, heavy sand, sanded areas, which is not what you want really. You want it to sort of fade and be a bit rustic looking. So just do it really gently. Um, and it takes some time, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, have some fun and just keep going with it until you get the effect that you want. When you want to do some of the side panels, it's really simple, exactly the same, get a flat piece of sandpaper and just really gently go over one area a little bit more than others. You don't need to go over the whole thing, but choose an area, so I've started on this bit. 
um, and then just gently go over it until you get the effect you like. Get a really clean brush and just dust down, getting rid of all the chalk uh, dust, so then we can wax it. And as we're doing this outside, we have our friendly little cat Louie come to join us. All you need to do is use beeswax, so I've used bry wax. Um, just make sure it's beeswax and you've got a lint-free cloth to put it onto. All you're going to do is just take some wax onto the cloth and literally just work it in to the grain of the wood. Once you've added your wax and you've worked it into the grain of the wood, leave it to dry and all you're going to do is get a clean cloth, a soft cloth, and simply buff the wax off in circular motions until you get a nice shiny surface and that wax will protect the wood and the areas that you've painted from chipping more and also add a good shiny surface to it. Once you've buffed off the wax, that is your chest of drawers or your furniture completed and done. What I might say is that with these handles, feel free to take the handles off existing furniture and replace them with some really cool handles that you can get from elsewhere. Anthropology do really nice ones and you can find really good ones on eBay as well. They just add a bit more of a quirkiness and a bit more of that shabby chic feel to it. Also we'd just like to say thank you to Tom, our next door neighbour, for giving us this chest of drawers to make this episode of Mrs McLean Makes. So thank you Tom and guys tune in next time for more Mrs McLean Makes. <laughs>